video. Well, I'm trying to film a video, but if you're gonna start talking the second I push the button, Bree. Talking in the vlog. Yeah. Isn't that a cutie talking? Yeah, it's a little baby cutie. His name is Wesley. Alright, can daddy go? Yes. <laughs> Alright, so as you can tell, we got the whole gang here. If you are new to the channel and do not know, my name is Zach. This is SC Fishkeeping. I appreciate you stopping by. And when I say that I am excited for today's video, for the fish that we are picking up, we are driving on our way to pick it up right now. When I say I'm freaking excited, that is uh, actually an understatement because this fish has been something I've been looking for for honestly a year. And that'll make sense here as, as we go. And now that we're at this red light, we do need to clear things up. Um, I am a 31 year old man, but I do have this zit that I thought, hey, let's pop it right before the video. That'll make it look better on screen. But uh, yeah, so 31 years old and I have the facial hair and the acne problems of a pubescent teen. So I call it out, you guys see it, we can all move on. Hopefully it'll be better by the end of this video. Wesley making little noises over here, guys. Wesley's making little noises. Well, isn't that a pretty picture of a UPS store? So there it is. The fish is right in there somewhere. <laughs> Filming with three kids is something. Let's go in. One eternity later. And just like that, as if by magic, the kids are gone. Uh, actually, I dropped them off at Grandma and Grandpa's. Anyway, so we have the box of fish right there. It's a big box. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but we're driving home to put it in its tank. And I'll give you a hint. It came from Jonah's Aquariums, so it is native, but let's get home. And there it is in all its glory. Look at it. I'm not even going to waste time. I am just going to cut into this thing because I am ready to see the fish that is inside this box. Oh yeah, that's better. If I'm being honest, the fish that's in here, I already told you it came from Jonah's Aquariums, which uh, if you don't know Jonah's Aquariums, it is the go-to place to find native North American fish. I bought a ton of fish from them before and uh, I don't intend on stopping. I'm gonna continue buying more fish. And this was a fish that if we're being honest, probably a lot of you actually found my channel because of the fish in this box. There's a lot more tape on here than I expected, so. Let me show you a little montage of the last time we had this fish. Well, I cut it open. Okay, um, yeah, so the, the, oh, I can't even talk. The, the fish is a musky, and you probably might have guessed that from those clips and then just seeing it here. But uh, if you don't, if you haven't been following the channel for a while or you're new, you might not have seen all the videos with the musky, but the musky was by far the most loved fish on my channel because this is a fish that most people do not have the ability to keep. And honestly, I don't even recommend that most people try to keep them. But I did and I fell in love with this fish and he grew incredibly quickly and he was a fan favorite. We had so much great content with him and the way that he died, I still don't understand how it happened. Um, the clip from the video where I talked about how he died actually, that, it took me like four months if I remember to even be able to film the video talking about losing the last muskie because that's how much that fish meant to me. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to have another one. But let's get him in the tank. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of water. Don't overflow tank. Ooh, we're close. Not overflowing. Oh, yeah. 
you can see my Adidas. Try not to spook him too much, but uh, yeah, he's big. <laughs> it's hard to tell in the bag, but he is probably seven to eight inches. And uh, yeah, I planned out a 40 gallon breeder for him for a little while. All right, so I've given him about 20 minutes. I went ahead and I opened up the bag, which I probably should have done after I, I pulled it out. But so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull the bag out. I'm gonna spill water all over the carpet. I got a five gallon bucket right here. I'm gonna set the bucket in and slowly kind of turn the bag so that way we start to dump the water out and it's not like a aggressive kind of move. Oh, first look, he is gonna jump out. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> man, if only I wasn't worried about this fish jumping based on previous experiences. Yeah, he's spooked. This is what I was trying to avoid. I, want, I don't want to stress him out, but I don't want to do, I don't want to like pour him through the net. So if we kind of scoop him here, pan him up, Kind of tip the net, let him swim out on his own. Move the stuff so you can get a kind of quick glance of him there. Water temperature matches because he's not freaking out running all over the place. Welcome to two days later. I gave that muskie about 24 hours with the lights off. I did not touch him, I did not mess with him. I didn't even look at him other than to make sure he was still in the tank, which he is. Um, but I gotta know, who's excited to have a muskie on the channel again? Let me know down in the comments if you are excited. I'm excited because this fish has like re-energized my entire desire to be in the fish keeping hobby, honestly. And I'm excited to use that as the centerpiece for building one of the best native fish collections here on YouTube. And yeah, it's gonna start with him. So we are gonna feed him here in a second, but I did show you that he's just in a 40 gallon breeder and he's already too big for that, which, you know, I have a plan for. One of the things I've been talking about doing in my last handful of videos was how I was gonna move the Fajaca puffer to put a big tank right there. Well, the plan was originally to take this 150 gallon that used to have my largemouth bass in it, who is now upstairs in the garage pond, and put this tank right here with the largemouth and possibly the flathead in it. Well, now what I think we do is instead of putting the 150 there, we take this 180 gallon that has things like, you know, my uh, phantom red tail, my deformed tiger shovel nose, uh, spotted gar. We take this tank and put that out there, move the 150 gallon to where that 180 gallon is right behind me and still put the largemouth in there. And then this big old box is a 900 gallon version of this 400 gallon Boswell window front pond with the big monster catfish in it. So my thought is we move all those fish into the 900 gallon pond over there. We take that 150 gallon, we put it over here and then we put the uh, muskie in that 180 gallon right there and just really showcase what you could do with 180 gallons all for one fish. And there you go. Now you know all my plans that I have moving forward and they're all centered around getting this guy out of this 40 gallon breeder because he's gonna grow a few inches in a few weeks if I feed him properly. And he's ready, but you guys ready to see the fish? I am really excited to show you, as you can tell. So I'll set the camera up and then I think I'm just gonna throw a couple minnows in there and see what happens. I haven't fed him yet. So he's hiding out in the back, which is exactly kind of how I set this up. I use some some driftwood to support this long piece and then use some tall plants to give him plenty of space, I mean, for what he has, to uh, hide out and just kind of get comfortable. One thing that I do notice about him that's a little different than the last muskie I had is this guy is not quite as jumpy. The last one was very spooked when I got up close to the glass. And I'm not trying to like be in this guy's face, but it is nice that he's not you know, swimming away from me, but so I'm going to go ahead and I got some minnows from my actually native minnow tank with the sunfish in there and I'm just going to put them in. Let's put them in. Hey, 
And true to form, the uh, muskie decides not to eat on camera, but the minnows have, you know, really made themselves comfortable and at home here. But something tells me that won't last too long once I'm not sitting in front of the tank, but because he's just back there still. You can kind of see him. And there's a minnow. But yeah, the muskie's hiding out behind those plants. So I probably shouldn't be surprised that after only two days of being in the tank, the muskie didn't want to eat on camera, but we did have some feeding clips earlier. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that and are looking forward to what having the muskie back means for the channel and all those plans that I kind of talked about. One thing people have been asking me for is an update on my son. You could hear him sneezing and talking in the beginning of this video, so he is doing great, but I'll do a video with him more in it when uh, he's done either being hungry, crying, or sleeping. So, yeah, I think that's about it. It kind of wraps it up. So, thank you guys for watching. Remember, this is Zach with SC Fish Keeping, reminding you that every fish is a keeper. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. See you soon.